Bobby Tarantino 2 has dropped and we're here to get on it because we are both quite big fans of Logic. Correct. I've been following him since the first Young Sinatra tape, so just after Young Broke Infamous and have been following him the whole way through and I'm loving the journey. And as much as I didn't like two of the singles, I only like 44 more, I'm still excited for this tape because the last tape fucking banged. So yeah, exactly. Well, for Bobby Tarantino 1, we got hard hitting, high BPM. It's that execution. We got that and it finished out with a more mellow kind of softer tone. Exactly, which is one thing he's always really executed well. He's got like, because he can sing, he can rap, and I feel like he blends both. Not as good as Drake, but still good nonetheless. I think the bar's logic still better. Yeah, I agree. But for this tape, I'm expecting a more mature, a complex, in-depth version of Bobby, Bobby Tarantino. I expect some maturity hmm. on this one. He's been married a while. He's now in the, been in the game a while. He's got more acceptance. He's, he's talked more about his race now, more than he ever has before. Like, what's he going to talk about now? Mm. What's he going to express on Bobby Tarantino? Mm. Hey, let's get right into it. <laughs> Menace, oh, very much. I don't know, Rick, I mean, album logic? Ah, uh, Morty, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to decline a request. I like he leaves this up here. It sounds so much better right now. Is it because it's not after JPEG Mafia? Logic. Holy shit, that's a lot of pigeons. Holy fuck. Holy shit. Look at the mans over here, man. <laughs> Look at mans over here, man. <laughs> God crazy. damn, that guy! He comes every single day and they wait for him. What a legend! Him. Yeah, he comes every day with bread. Dude, I, look at them all, they're all so happy and fat. Yeah, they love this guy. Every single day he comes to feed the pigeons. Why do they stay here? Yeah. Does, he, does he feed them that whole bag? That whole bag, man, it's amazing. Oh, it's on the dot too, like he's here at the same God time. damn. Oh, random fact, you know a helicopter? The word helicopter isn't meant to be helicopter, it's actually helico and turk. Helico is a is a word in some language for rotation, and ter is in ptar pterodactyl to fly. That's what helicopter means. It's so like a rotating yep, so, pterodactyl. So helico and so, so you meant to, it was actually meant to be pronounced helicopter, but we just say helicopter because it sounds better. So silly. Yeah, that, that, there you go. Hey, that's very, legit the meaning of helicopter. Educating us. Rotating too. fly. Learned a lot today. Tell us more, sir. <laughs> Rick and Morty, Dre. You, you've watched Rick and Morty now, haven't you? Yeah, I've seen the, the first season now. Thank you for putting them on. It's, Fun, humorous, crude thing. My favorite show, hands down. Hands down, my favorite show. So that's pretty cool for him to get them to intro that. I think really, really cool, cool because Logic, if you didn't know, was featured on their second season. What they were saying was important too. It's like they were talking about Logic's very self-aware. Yeah, and also they're kind of like, look, I don't want to listen to that that titty rap, but I also want to listen. To, it's kind of like the like Bobby Tarantino is the in between. It's not Logic's expressing huge things about his life, about you know everything that's going on. It's more just Logic having a bit of fun yeah. and still like still has the parts of Logic but also has that titty rap, as they were saying. In between consciousness and fun. Ignorance. Yeah, and flow mm -hmm. and style. And so Rick and Morty kind of like explain that. Yeah. And so let's just get into it. Still, and expressing the humor of Rick and Morty, which, which Logic is said to have loved, because he loves the show as much as, as I do too. And it's really weird because every day we did a single uh, thing for, and I hated it on first you listen. Mean, you mean overnight? Oh, overnight, yeah, sorry. I, yeah, overnight. And um, I hated it on first listen. I really did. I didn't like the sound, but I don't know what it was this time. Like, I think because I listened to JPEG Mafia beforehand. Fuck JPEG Mafia. You're um, six. If you six, if you know him, produces pretty much most of his albums. He's been producing with him since Young Sinatra, so he's been growing the whole way through. He's a great producer, man. That's mm. that's a really fun beat. It's got a bit of poppiness it's to it. Yeah. It's got poppiness to it. It's got like a good happy feeling. It's got a good amount of bass, like. It's was, it was dope. I, I quite like that track. I like how he sings in there. Actually, it reminded me a bit like Kid Cudi when he's like, "Tell me how you really feel. Oh, you. How you really feel." That's why I wanted to hear that again because like I heard a Kid Cudi inspiration from that. And straight after that, he goes back to like because that's one thing about Logic. He wears inspirations on his sleeve in most of his tracks. Yeah, he's been like that for years. Hmm. Um, so yeah, I, after listening to the first time, I didn't really like it, same as you. But now, I feel like still something's missing from the track. I'm still not 100% sold on it. But mm. let's get to the next one. <laughs> This cat is still coming, I can't move up this cat, I'm not still coming.
bombastic, high Ooh. BPM. He was he was a little bit arrogant. I like that. Yo. A little, little bit of um. Uh. Uh. Nico did his thing on that beat too. That beat was fucking hot. Really nice, loud drums, good bass, good like the chip my voice is the do 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 we hear different songs? <laughs> you know what I'm Sounds. saying? You know what I'm saying? Maybe they get it. Be right. Fucking good arrogance, good display of flow, technicality. That's a dope track. Would you call that a subtle banger? Would yeah, you? I would. Yeah, because he's not flowing that quick on it. Oh, oh, oh. Because the, the beat was banging, but, but the flow, I feel like, didn't match it as well as it could. Mm. That was, that was, that was alright. It was good. It was good. Just I like the energy. Uh, he hasn't really done too much with auto tune before. No. Not really at all. Um, I wasn't sure how I felt about it. Like, mm. I think I was jamming so much to the beat that I didn't really. The beat really carried it. Played. The beat really carried it. I really wish I could look at all the producers for this because the producers are doing their thing so far. So far, six. Nico, fucking dope. Whoever did that track, fucking dope. I wasn't sure about the hook either, but um. Oh, I didn't mind. It was not the one that was. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. He was being humorous. He was being funny. He's being just playful. I think that's the point of this tape, though. Very similar to Bobby Tarantino. One, just stunting, just having a bit of fun. Mm. Not necessarily being. He's on a next level, new level of stunting now. Oh yeah, definitely. B -b 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 Ballin. <laughs> Never know. That sounds legit, doesn't you think? That's dope. Because you remember Logic did huge things with the awards for yeah. the Suicide Awareness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like Elton John would be someone that, not saying that he might have had trouble, but he has had a lot of troubles in the past. Maybe that was something that was close to him and he wanted to congratulate him about that and mm. inspired him to work with him. Mm. That's so dope. That, that really helped him with his popularity. Uh, dude, it jumped, well, for one thing, put it on radio. He'd always been big in the underground and he was, he was generally becoming, getting a pop sound. And it, it just so happened that as he had a pop sound, on that album that was becoming more and more it, the track got picked up radio and now he's on radio now which is dope which is real dope and if we take you to the track yuck that track for me yeah. that was that was to all the haters that that was to all the success he's been having that was just a response track to all the adversity well, yeah. it's the, it's the funny thing because like once you get fame especially on that sort of level like the haters just come out because i remember when this is the logic early on and all throughout the years like no there was no haters everyone fucking loved logic and it wasn't until probably he dropped the incredible true story that the haters start to come up and be like, oh, Logic's fake, or like Logic's, you know, too corny, blah, blah, blah. Which, you know, he's a lot of the things that people say, but then the hate just got so massive. And then after the, you know, what happened with 1 800 and, that, and the album Everybody, the hate just got huge, which is fair. It's, it's kind of like when Lil Wayne got big, it's easy the hate got that, massive. Right? Kanye got big, the hate got massive. It's with every sort of big rap. You know, like, it's the nature of it. Yeah. But that was a dope track. That was one of the hardest hitting ones. And yeah, probably my favorite so far. I thought he was saying the most on that. He sounded the most rawest on that. Shit. I mean, the other tracks are still fun, but this one had a bit more, a bit more rawness to it. Emotion. So I like, I like the beat more too. Whoever did the beat on that one was dope. In the cabado, know exactly what to do. I like you, like I like doing big pool in the toy world too. Is that Wiz Khalifa? That's Wiz Khalifa. It's Wiz. We're just talking about it. Oh, it's damn. Yeah. 
Erica Badu type of beat. Yeah, I thought so. Very good. Best track in the album. This is <laughs> it's the smoothest. Smooth as butter. And you know what? I who would have thought that I'd hear a Wiz Khalifa verse in 2018 and get you, excited for how it? How many years has that been since we heard a Wiz feature? Oh, he's featured every year. He's fe okay. It's well, just he hasn't really. I haven't heard him in a long time. Like he's just been he's just been radio Wiz lately. He hasn't done anything really good to me since Rolling Papers, which was like what 2013. A while ago, maybe 2014. It was a while. Either way, it was nice to hear Wiz on a verse. I was, he did well. He's flowing nice. He still had his own flavor on there. Mm. Logic was fucking smooth on that. Mm. I love, he's like his double timing. I like him rolling back to it. The beat, he still managed to like go quick and, yeah, and man. speed really, it up when he needed real to. Real good breath management on there. Mm. And just like, and right, like very Erica Badu like beat, I guess you could say, with the soulfulness to it. Hence the Indica Badu, I guess, title for it. Fucking dope. I really like that track. That's a really, that's a really beautiful track there. <laughs> Say, better switch up because I was getting bored. Ah. Ah. Shut up. was needed because we were in some territory like yeah. alright logic you need to chill you need to stop Legit. this auto tune oh well that's the thing I was just like this is probably the first track I'm not really liking mm. I was like this ain't your avenue logic I'm like you sound like a good young thug which is still <laughs> bad <laughs> <laughs> a good young thug and then luckily that it was only for like a minute that intro right I'd say two two minutes yeah yeah so I, was, I wasn't fucking with that I think yeah, I just wasn't feeling. But, but that's intelligent. That, he switched it up. He switched up. That switch up was dope. Them keys, them wonky ass keys with his like, that hook was dope. It was. That section was probably one of the highlights of the album right there for me. Oh, that's fucking dope. It's like the album's considered like getting better with each track we're hearing. Well, the first part. Why do you think he put the first part? What's the point? What do you mean? The, the first audition part. Maybe he wanted to fuck around with that. Because like this is a mixtape. He probably wants to fuck around with a lot of yeah, sounds. Yeah, that would be the only explanation for me. Hmm. Like, do, do, do these artists think Wait, it sounds- Wait, what's the track called again? Oh, damn! Straight up, the master behind this album isn't Logic, it's Six. Mm. Six has produced every track but the second track of this album so far, with the help of a few others, most of them solo, but like Khalil's been on one. Uh, sorry if anyone else missed out, but he's fucking killing that shit. Because we're getting different flavors, we're getting, like, we're getting trap logic, we're getting slow it down logic, getting a bit more old, there's a bit of boom bap there as well. Like, we're getting so many different elements of styles with logic on there, but it's all being composed by six 
Such a great team then, aren't exactly. they? Exactly. Like I said, he's been working with them since the very first young Sinatra attack. No wonder, they got great chemistry. Which dates back to like, what's that, 2008? They know each other very well. Right. It's so, it's so dope. An amazing track again. Good switch up with the, with the hook, with the track. Mm -hmm. Fucking love it. That was one of my, that's probably my favorite track. I was, oh, his flow was so fucking good on there too. But you know, when we listen to music sometimes, we're like, all right, when's the show over? All right, you start thinking of time, but when you forget about time, and you just get caught yeah, up right. in the music, that's when you know you got a good track. And that was an example of it. I was right. just trying to catch every word, like fucking fish in a sea. Some people say when I dance, I'm looking through salmon. <laughs> Dude, I'm looking for salmon in the water. So I'm trying to catch the fucking salmon. salmon. You're like a big old bear trying to catch some salmon in your mouth. Yeah, the salmon are his words. I'm like, I don't want to miss any. I was just, that was so great. That was a fucking dope track. So good. Man, I kind of like that. I haven't been too many features too. We've had Wiz Khalifa and that's been it. I like how, I love albums when there's a few features and not fucking crazy amounts. Because mixtapes, you know, we see like feature, 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 feature. Yeah, well, this ain't no Meg Mill, you know. <laughs> so. Thank God. Uh Overusing the auto tune, he splices it in there every now and again, but still, I'm not sold on it. I disagree with that track. I think he overused it in that track. Yeah, oh. so we got a verse, but that's still too much for you sometimes, huh? I'm gonna be straight up logic. I know you're experimenting with auto tune for probably, if not the first time, it's not for you. Really, the first time? He hasn't really done it in the past. I don't think so. Okay. Maybe he has. Maybe not. I much. can't. Well, I can't remember if he has. He's got a lot. Either way, it's not for you, logic. It doesn't suit you, in my opinion. Although, there's probably a lot of people who think it would suit him because we're in the age of hip hop where auto tune is just widely accepted and looked look to. Mm, yeah, I think we've got to be more critical. I think we should be more critical of these critical. artists. I feel like no, but like we, just... as a culture, ah. not just accept. Well, that's the thing. Like, it's weird because we are in a stage of hip hop where auto tune is so widely present, especially with the younger generation. Mm. And as much as I do love a lot of those artists, uh, more percentage wise, I don't like them. Like, I don't like the Uzis, I don't like the Yotties. I don't like the. You don't like eighty percent of them. Little this, young that. <laughs> little this. Yeah, yeah exactly. Awful. Like I love a lot of them, but so many of them I don't like. More like it's just. Whereas if you go back to like more the I guess the two thousands era, where there was less auto tune, I still hated a lot of like didn't like a lot of rappers, but I liked a lot more of the majority. Mm. So it's kind of like small percentages. There. Well, look, but but the way I've always looked at it is like, if you're looking for a certain type of music, look and you'll find it. You just, go, you just go do a lot of looking, that's all. M minus that, it was a good track, and, th and that's, pr that's pretty much it. You know, uh, nothing too special. I just thought the beat was banging. I thought Logic Flow was good. I didn't like the auto tune, didn't really like the hook. That's just me. Probably the first track of the album I wasn't massive upon. Sit back and just get part drive. Right, right. Do you want to know something about me, man? I have only, I've never fucked a girl in the house before. Okay, I'm begging niggas and trying me the iron I used to iron G that had a hit me Cause you know my destiny is somewhere over the catastrophe You know your majesty, you know so strong as most I asked to be That's such a tragedy, I see murder niggas rapping Woo! Yeah, I, don't, I feel like that wasn't six that time, or if it was, he was. Uh, wasn't six. Yeah, 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 second track was six. Nice, nice. Cool. Ah. Yeah, that makes sense. So that the the producer wasn't six there, and I felt like the production was a little more eclectic. It was a little more crazy, just a little more. Uh, yeah, a little more different. It's probably my least liked track on the album so far. Maybe because of those producers, huh? I don't know. It's like the beat wasn't for me really. But like Logic still flowed good and shout out to 2 Chainz. Yeah, 2 Chainz has been killing features. He did his thing, man. 
He did Red Ryan said he's been killing his features lately, man. Agreed. I'm excited. Two Chains, pretty girls like trap music was a dope album. I'm looking forward to what else he does, man. Two Chains, like, it's growing. It's like a fine wine. Titty Boys is getting better with time. You know? Unlike Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I bet you this is six. I can tell. It's the bass and the drums. The bass and the drums are very similar. Big Sean. Logic? Logic? Uh, six? Big Sean. <laughs> Big Sean. How are you gonna like come in with like your fast paced rap voice and then drop it down to this real slow, like really low voice when there's fucking bass and drums blaring? Hold on. Can you play Sean? Just, just 10 seconds. Yeah, yo, it's play. not a bad. It doesn't suit it. I don't feel you. Like, I, I feel like it. if I, they... You like it? No, I like it. I feel like if they took away the bass, it make more sense. Because he's he's making his voice go from like a nice high-pitched energy to like a more lower 21 Savage-like energy. But because the beat's not changing with it, it doesn't suit it. That's just how I feel. No, that makes like technical uh, sense. Like you, you change the kind of the BPM of your flow. You change the cadence of your flow and you skip part you skip it dun 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 dun, dun. like an Eminem type thing I, I like that shit and I, I think it like, suited it I feel like Big Sean was still on his Metro Boomer tape did you listen to that tape? Big Sean Metro Boomer? no it was a dope tape I really liked it I didn't expect to like it I was like Big Sean Metro Boomer it's gonna be trash it's really good because Big Sean experiments with different flows in the album very similar to this okay he goes from being more hypey and fast to being a bit more slower and a bit more, a bit more deeper and lower. He's experienced that a lot, so he kind of like still has that on this track, but it's not the same production. Mm. So I feel like Big Sean's come on this track, like I'm gonna continue off the success of my last project with the same flow on this, but to me, it didn't suit it. If we don't, if we don't like the first ten seconds of this track, we'll skip it, because when we did it the first time, it was trash. Skip, <laughs> skip. Oh Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, we can agree. It sounds He's... like a Minecraft oh. montage song. That beat, was that Marshmallow on the beat there? Because that beat was terrible. It was very safe. Oh, I agree. Know. The production doesn't suit logic. It's safe, it's Ooh. poppy, it's. Even his delivery was quiet. Even logic's delivery was safe though. He did the whole, we're gonna be hyped in the chorus, then we're gonna slow at the start of the verse, we're gonna build it up a little bit, and now we're gonna do it really fast yeah. at the end of the verse, then we're gonna bring it back down, and then we're gonna go crazy in the chorus. Like, it was, it was like a house music. Mm. Oh, there's the delivery boy. We just kind of slucky clap for that. Worst track on the album, trash, it shouldn't be on there, but it's a mixtape, he's having fun. I agree. He's experimenting new things, like I do like some of his flows on there, but it just doesn't suit him. It is the worst track on the album, but it's not as worse as I think it was when I first listened to it. Get behind him. Get behind him. Come on, Nick.
God damn. Man's not hot. Man's been hot. The reason it's titled 44 more because in Barbie Tarantino, if you remember, there's a track called 44 Bars. Mm -hmm. So this is a, 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 a homage. Yeah, 44 homage. Bars, which was off the first Barbie Tarantino. So yeah. 44 more. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. Alright, now as an album. Bobby Tarantino 2. Do you prefer the first one or the second one upon first reaction? Upon first listen, I prefer the second one. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Halfway through, I'm like, oh, I prefer the first one. But now, once the completion of it, I'm like, it's very close. I think... I know, I haven't heard the first in a while. I, I remember after listening to the first one, I think... Excuse me. I feel like the first one, the second, the second one definitely I feel like works better together because the first and second are the same and like they've got a lot of different sounds, logic, experimenting. But I feel like this was more cohesive for a mixtape. It sort of like flowed really well together. I listened to the, I the first one this morning. It's quite minus the auto tune. It's quite similar. It touches mm -hmm. on softer ones and harder hitting ones. All I remember is after the first Bobby Tarantino. Afterwards, I was like, oh, I didn't like three or four tracks. I think. Okay. I thought they were a bit like so-so. Whereas this one, there was only like one or two tracks I thought were so-so. Mm. One or two. And I was, I was more. I feel like compared to this, I feel like on this Tarantino mixtape, he experimented a lot more than he did in the first one. I love when artists experiment a lot more. I feel like the, a lot of his experimentation on here paid off. And the production was oh, better on here. High quality. Production better on this one. More I punchy. Feel like Six is an absolute god monster. And Logic, don't you ever break your friendship with this man, or else he's going to go for someone else and make them famous. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. But six, six killed off. You know what's interesting? That Logic has re released a project every year for like, what, six to eight years? Yeah, man. So basically, just quickly, do you know the stories to how he got, how he got enough, like he got famous? Logic was performing at a show. There's probably like, I think 10 or 20 people at the show. Logic, had, um, he was known then as a different name. It was really long. But um, pretty much Big Limbo went up to Logic and he was like, look, man, I'm a big fan of what you do. I really believe in you. And Logic was like, oh man, like, I can't really make as much music as I want to, like, because I've got to work, I've got to support my family, or like, he had, you know, he had so much he got to do. And Big Lemon was kind of, he's like, look, man, come live at my house, don't work, I'll support you whatever you want to do. And that's what he did. So Logic, because he had to, he had to work so much to fund everything he did, and he didn't have the time to do any of it. Big Lemon put him in his house, had a studio for him to work in, and Logic didn't work. Big Lemon paid for everything. It's crazy, man. And so Logic had the time and space to actually put in the work, put out mixtapes, and here's where he's today. And that's why, to this day, everything Logic does, Big Lemon is with him because he helped him get to where he is. He's a brother, man. Beautiful story, man. Absolutely. Beautiful. And that's why he's featured on this track. Big Lemon, I don't think he's ever released an album, but the fact that they fit. and he has a good feature too. Mm. He's a dope rapper. Man, so, it's a great story. So fucking awesome. Uh, yeah, fucking love Bobby Tarantino too. I think it's a great fucking mixtape. Really excited for what he does next year. Yeah, man, Bobby Tarantino too. Uh, great project. Based on what the conversation we're having now, I definitely see uh, validity in that it could be a better project than the first one. So um, I'm excited to go back to it. Logic, you did your thing, man. Yeah, I'm excited to go back to it too. And especially some of the things I might not have liked, like certain auto tunes, certain beats. Um, I'll go back there with a fresh mind, pay more attention. Like you said, try and grab them salmon. <laughs> try and grab all them salmon. On that note, man. Thank you, Logic, for continuing to make music and do what you do. Yeah, man. Really appreciate it. Still a massive fan. Love what you do. Keeping the growth. Love it. And yeah. thank you all, Jungle Beats community, for fucking with us still. If you want a pillow with our faces on there, support us on Patreon. We're giving away pillows. A thousand of them. For $20,000 a month. Per, per quarter of pillow. That's a great deal. Tell them.